This video is made possible by my Patreons and my Etsy shop. All the links are in the description. Hello and welcome to today's video. As you see, I have a violin which has a slight problem. According to the story, the client who brought it in uh, told me that someone uh, took a seat and uh, the violin was there. And apparently it uh, is not a very comfortable way to sit down, but also the violin breaks. Fortunately, I have all the pieces here. I have four bigger ones and in this small box I have all the smaller ones. There is a lot to do. As you understand, I will have to glue one by one the pieces together. I will start by removing the fittings and removing the top of the body so I can work only on the top. The rest of the instrument, fortunately, has no problem. And at the end, I will put the top on place again and uh, mount it. There is a text in the inner side of the violin. I can read here Joseph and here 1870. The rest of the text is not very easy to read and I'm afraid that it is going to be lost as I have to glue here and clean up the glue. I have the feeling that someone has removed the original varnish and has re-varnished the instrument. And this is something that I see a lot lately and I can't stress out enough how but this is to do. I also receive many questions from people asking uh, how they could re-varnish their instrument or uh, if they should do it and so on. I won't recommend to do it. It is really bad as the originality of the instrument goes lost. Many times it is re-varnished in a really bad way. So it is really a pity to do it. Just don't do it. If you want to exercise on varnishing instruments, buy the white ones that I also buy for my varnish videos. That's much better. I will start by gluing this bigger piece to the rest of the top, but I won't even glue it entirely. I will do only the first half and then the second part that will give me more uh, flexibility to fit it properly. The top is bent a little bit by the sound post, so they don't fit very well. I will also use white glue and I know that many of you will freak out, but have a look to this video where I explain why I use it. It will give me more time to put everything together and on the long term it will be stronger. This is dry, the clamp can go off. And this first part is also dry. Now I'm going to glue this one, but I will leave all the clamps on it to keep it tight. This first part is done. Now I will glue these two small parts here in this gap. As this part is drying, I'm going ahead with this one. Last time I glued here something. Now I will put this back on place to make it one piece again. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now I am going to glue this part onto the rest. As long as this is drying, I will put together these two parts. And this can also dry. Once again the glue is dry, so I can go ahead. Now I can glue this big part onto the rest of the top. The top is almost in one piece again, now I will put the last part of the edges on place and I will fix them with a little bit of tape as it is almost impossible to clamp them. This part is still here and I will leave it like that. It will take its place as soon as I uh, glue the top on place again. The top is in one piece again, now it's time to put some reinforcements, but I also have this text here that I don't want to cover and one of the cracks passes right through the text, so I'm not going to put any reinforcements there. Here we have the sandpost area, so I don't want to put too many here, so I think I will put one here and one here, and I will put a couple in this area. And I'm going to use this half millimeter thick plywood that is super light and very strong. And finally, I can glue the top on the ribs. As you see the violin is in one piece again and as I'm mounting the strings let me take a moment to thank the Patreons once again for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that and if you also like my content I would like to support the channel. Don't hesitate to visit my Patreon page. 
And also don't forget to visit my Etsy shop for the violin themed clocks and the pochette themed bottle openers. And it makes sound again also. That means that we arrived at the end of today's video. I can bring the violin back to the owner and start working on the upcoming video. It will be about the pochette again. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time again. Bye bye!